It's always great when we can come together during the week and fellowship with one another and sing songs of praise and study God's Word. Preparing this lesson, I began to think and look back on my life and how fortunate I have been, how I've um, grown up in the church and know the truth since I was born and um, grown up in a family that has always taught me to stay true to God's Word and had people around me been great influences in my life Christian and Christian examples. So I want to take the time to thank those of you who have known me since I was little. Thank you for being a great example and my friends because I probably wouldn't be the same Christian that I am today without you guys. So um, I want to thank you. And tonight I'm going to be talking about some of the great reasons why I'm happy that I'm a Christian. Um, the first reason that I'm happy that I'm a Christian is that I can always rely on my church family. If you would, turn, our, turn your Bibles over to First. Thessalonians chapter 5. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. And I'll be reading verse 11. And every verse that I will be reading from tonight will be from the King James Version. It reads, Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as ye also do. I know that no matter how messed up life gets sometimes, no matter how bad it gets at home, no matter how bad school gets, or how terrible life gets in general, I can always rely on my church family for strength and comfort. I know that I can always rely on them and trust them to stay true to God's word and not stray from it. I can always trust and turn to my brothers and sisters to pray for me. James 5.16 reads, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another, that he may be healed. The effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. I'm happy that I'm a Christian because even when I've done wrong, I've, I have the church to lead me back to God's Word. Let's turn our Bibles over to Galatians chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. It reads, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, he which are spiritual restore such and one in the spirit of meekness. Considering thyself, thyself, lest thou also be tempted, bear ye one another's burdens also, and also fulfill the law of Christ. Another reason that I'm happy to be a Christian and that I have the church is that even when I fail, I can always count on the church to welcome me with open arms of forgiveness. Colossians 3:13 reads, For bearing one another and forgiving one another, if, a man, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. So I'm so happy that I, can, that I am a part of the Lord's church and that I'm a Christian. Another reason that I'm happy to be a Christian is that I know I have a purpose in this life. You see many today out in the world, they are so confused and lost, and they are bored with their lives because they have no ambition or motive in their life. As a Christian, I know that I have purpose. 1 John 5, 3, For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. Our first purpose as Christians is to keep God's commandments. 2 Timothy 4, 2, let's turn over to 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy. It reads, Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season reprove, rebuke, exhort, with all longsuffering and doctrine. I know as a Christian that I'm going to be seeking and saving the lost so that they can be found righteous in God's sight as well. As Christians, we need to be the light in the world for others that they may find the truth of God and His will. Let's turn over to Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if salt hath lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and give it and giveth light, light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. I'm happy that I'm a Christian because I can rely on the Bible for strength and knowledge. 
The Bible is God's Word, 2 Timothy 3.16. All Scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. See, the Bible gives me confidence because God, because in God, because it is infallible and never contradicts itself. As we just read, for the instruction in righteousness. I'm happy to be a Christian and have the Bible because it gives me the instruction to live righteously unto God. In the world, there are many that have done wrong due to the lack of knowledge of the scriptures. I'm happy that I'm a Christian because I know what is right and wrong. Because God gave us commands not to be a burden on us, but instead to help us live easier and sinless lives that keep us out of trouble. I'm happy to be a Christian because I do not have to be a part of this world or worry about this world. So many people today are worried about what is happening in this world, how the world perceives them, and how they're being treated. As Christians, we know that we are not to be a part of this world. Let's turn over to 1 John chapter 2. 1 John chapter 2. I'll be reading verses 15 and 16. It reads, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. I don't, you see, we don't have to worry as Christians about this world that we live in, because on righteous day, when righteous day comes, when the day of judgment comes, it will be corrupt by moth and rust. As Matthew chapter 6, 19 through 20 says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. I'm happy that I'm a Christian, because even when I sin, I can repent and still be found righteous in God's sight. Let's turn our Bibles over to Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come for the presence of the Lord. <coughs> therefore, from this verse, God has given us a way to turn from our transgressions and be found righteous through repentance and keeping the faith. 1 John 1, 9 reads, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. One of the most important reasons that I am happy to be a Christian is that I do not have to fear tomorrow. James 1, 12 reads, Blessed is the man that endure the temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord had promised to them that love him. We see here that as Christians, if we have endured this life and kept God's commandments, we can reach that eternal life with our Lord in heaven. Brethren, let's all rejoice and be happy that we are Christians that we have the church to always rely on, that we have, we have a purpose as Christians to keep God's commandments and seek and save the lost, that we have the Bible for knowledge and strength, that we, have, that we are not to be of this world, and that we are able to repent and be found righteous in God's sight, and that we, have, we do not have to fear tomorrow if we have been faithful. If you haven't been happy with being a Christian, and you have taken some of these joys of being a Christian for granted, please... Make that right tonight, because you do not know when the Lord is coming back. Mark 13, 32 reads, But of the day and that hour knoweth no man, but the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son but the Father. If you are here tonight and you have not become a Christian yet, and you want to become one, the Bible simply teaches that for one to become a Christian, one is to hear the word of God, Romans 10, 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And after hearing, one must believe, Hebrews 11.6. Then one is to repent, Acts 17.30. In the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere repent. One must confess Jesus is the Son of God, Romans 10.9 and 10. <clears throat> then one must be baptized by immersion for the remission of sins, Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And finally, one must live faithfully unto death. Revelation 2.10. If anyone is in need, please come forward. As together we stand and sing.